Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we'll be changing the turn signal or combo switch, I should say, on this 19 or sorry, 19. I'm so used to the 90s. 2004 Mercedes C230 uh, compressor coupe. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so today we'll be replacing the combination switch on this car. Here's a brand new one. Uh, the problem with this one is it doesn't stay. Try to go up, it doesn't stay. I mean, everything still works, but it doesn't stay. So that's a big issue. So you don't want to have to drive and hold this while you're turning. Yeah, so I'm gonna start taking the airbag off. Uh, battery is disconnected. So it was a pain to loosen this guy. You have to be really careful. And don't let, don't use the steering lock to you know help you with that use the impact gun if you have one or you got to hold it with one hand and then loosen it with the other yeah it's it's definitely a pain so there are marks there's actually a spline right here and it aligns with that mark and same with that one so you just pull the steering wheel straight out Okay, now we have to work with this steering angle sensor. And then as you can see this arrow, it aligns with this mark, the black mark right here. I got it out, now I'm gonna swap it. There's some Torx bolts, screws. All right, so I got the switch installed and everything works as it should. All right, so I'm gonna start installing everything back. Everything's tightened up over here. Good to go. All right, so the car is running. Gotta check all the functions. All right. That's good, that's good. High beams, nice. Everything is good, no lights on the dash. Everything works, all the buttons and all that. Nice. So this battery seems like it's not working, that's not doing anything. So I have to take it out and replace it. So after test driving this car, I really don't know what happened here. See that? I didn't mess with parking brake or anything. I just applied it a couple of times, but that's about it. Crazy. Seems like the spring maybe it was missing or something, I don't know. This one is there. This is what happened. Jeez. I'm just gonna have to change these uh, parking brake shoes. All right, took out the parking brake. This one is fine. This one seems like it was rubbing or it wasn't adjusted properly. And this piece is missing and it's not here anywhere. So either way, it's good that we're doing it, but I really am just surprised how this stuff happened, honestly. Thank God it didn't really damage anything else. Yeah, this one is okay. But yeah, I gotta wear a new set of parking brake shoes and hardware. All right guys, so I got this kit, the ATE kit, and it's got everything inside that I need for the parking brake shoes and hardware. So I'm gonna start installing that on this car. So before I install anything, I wanna clean this surface, especially these contact points. Also, as you can see, there's some rust forming right here. So I wanna clean this whole backing plane. I'm gonna spray some paint on it after sanding and I got some sandpaper right there. I really want to sand this down, even though it's raining and crazy, but I wanna get this done so it looks really nice. and. It's not gonna rust anymore. It's gonna get protected. So I sanded this backing plate here and there, and I just, just gonna start applying some rust dissolver gel. 
so it can help me get rid of this rust before actually painting it so yeah we're gonna wait a little bit let it soak and get all that rust off so i think i'm gonna have to actually do something about this because this i gotta tighten up the parking brake cable in the middle of the car these ones look like not too horrible on this side but definitely gotta refinish restore this backing plate really important all right so now since the shoes and the hardware are all off I'm gonna go ahead and clean it I'm gonna start sanding this as soon as I sand it I'll paint this backing plate same with the other side and uh, we're gonna start installing new hardware on here. I'm gonna let it soak after sanding. Yeah, there's a lot of sanding I have to do still. I got the first coat ready to go. Alright, so these are almost dry. As soon as they are dry, put about three, four coats of paint. I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this side. The parking brake shoes and everything. ATE, all new hardware, really nice. Alright, so almost done with this side. Just have to adjust it a little bit using the rotor. And also I adjusted the main mechanism in the in the middle of the car. Yep, and then all the springs are there this one for this one uh, hey, this is the last one you put on i had to use the vice grip for that it's a bit of a pain make sure everything is good here nothing is rubbing yep. engage this Awesome. Let's disengage. Cool. This wheel is done. All right, I'm gonna start working on this side. I've got a brand new. Uh, so this is the old. Like I said, this thing got bent. Crazy, actually. So I got a new one. It came in the kit of two. So with new pins, actually. That's nice so yeah i'm gonna start installing that i'm gonna put grease right here 